Oh, Danny, what are you doing? What? I was going to throw it away. Don't throw it away. It can be a vase for my plant. With a can? Yes, it is a sustainable vase. You know, the United Nations adopted 17 sustainable development goals. And the goal number 12 is responsible consumption and production. And the 13 is climate action. What does it mean? It means that we are responsible for everything we use, consume and produce, like plastic bottles or tin cans. So I can't throw this away? Mm, I think it would be much better if we don't throw it in the trash can, but we can reuse it instead. Come on, I'll teach you. Okay. Hello, hello, hello! I am Danny and this is Educate for Families with Art and Fun Web TV Show. This is a place for you to test your imagination while we create and explore a great new world of possibilities. So bring your family to the living room and let's do it! Danny and I are making sustainable vases today. We are surrounded by recyclable materials because this season we are talking about sustainability. Do you guys remember this word? Sustainability. Sustainability. The actions we take to protect the natural resources of the planet so everybody can keep living well. Yes, so I have here some old clothes pins and we are going to use them today. So if they are old, why don't you throw them away? Mm, I have a better idea. How about we reuse them instead? Mm. Okay, so let's make art! You'll need tuna tin cans, paint, paint brushes, markers, masking tape, some clothespins, a plant, and lots of creativity! I highly recommend that you try it at home. This artistic activity is really simple to do. We are going to paint and decorate the clothespins. We can use the marker or the paint brushes. So which one you use, the marker or the paint brush? I'll go with the paint brushes. All right. So you can color your clothespin with the marker like this or paint with the paintbrush. Let's use the paintbrush today. All right. So very carefully, you just put some paint all over the cloth spins like this. You can do it as you like any color you desire. Oh, Danny, I love painting. Yes, it's so much fun, isn't it? You can use different colors. I am going to paint this one with orange paint. I'll go with purple. I love purple. This is one of my favorite colors. Yeah, my favorite color is red. Wow, so then I have an idea. Why don't we make it all red and we can make a red sustainable vase? Let's do it! Let's do it! So let's color them all red with the paint like this. And I have an example ready here. Look! Wow, that's beautiful! So the idea is to color all of them as many as you like. That looks fun. That's super fun. You know what? We can make it more fun and add some decoration to it. What if we make some um, white dots? Really? Yes, let's use the wooden stick and add some white dots to the clothespin. Like this. Isn't it cute? Yeah, great idea, Danny. Now, set it aside to dry. And as it dries, we are going to get the tin, the tuna tin can, and we need to paint it. But for that, we are going to use the masking tape. 
like this. Use the masking tape. Can you hold the can for me? And we are going to wrap the masking tape all around the tin can. Just like this. So do it all over the tin can. Like this. And after you finish, you have something like this. Yay! Now it's ready to be painted. Let's choose a color. Yeah. And we're gonna paint our vase. Let's um let's paint it black. Yeah. So paint the tuna tin can all around. I already have one here that I made at home. After you finish, you have something like this. Oh! You see? Yeah! And our vase is almost ready! So I have some that I made at home and we can use them to decorate our vase. Can you count with me? Yeah! One, two, three, four. Now keep decorating it and we're going to place the cloth spins all around the tuna tin can. Can you do it with me? Yeah. Please help me. It's ready! Look at our sustainable vase. Wow, it's beautiful. Isn't it so nice? One of the 17 sustainable development goals is sustainable cities and communities. Mm. I think we should have more of that around the house and the city. You know what? I agree. And that's why we need to preserve nature and take some actions like this at home. Yeah. So look at this other example that I made. Ta-da! Yay! This is orange and green. And this is so cute, right? Uh-huh. You can paint it as you like. You can be very creative and use your imagination. How about you? Why don't you make your house more colorful with flowers and greenery? I can wait to see it. So post it on social media, tagging us on Instagram, at Educate Bilingual. And we'll see you on the next Educate for Families with Arts and Fun. But don't forget to stay artsy!